Yes, I know. I'm behind. But I'm going to finish this project. I said I was going to do it, and by Jove, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> so, today's word is praise. I have struggled with this one. I have tried to think of things that I could do. I actually sang and recorded a song, a praise and worship song that I love that just pops into my head randomly. But while I did sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star for you guys with my daughter, I was not quite ready to give you that. That's a big step for me to sing on camera and put it on the internet. Maybe I'll give you a snippet. Lift my voice. So yeah, that's it. Um, <laughs> and so I thought about other things that I could praise. Um, so I thought that I would praise a couple of people and a book, do a bit of a book review. So, um, First, I want to talk to you about a friend of mine who is a mom of three and she's a wonderful, excellent person. I haven't seen her a long time, but there's this app called Marco Polo. I don't know if you've heard of it, but it's amazing. And we use that and we stay in touch almost every day and it's great. And I don't know, I don't think she'd want me to mention her name exactly, but I just want to put it out there and give her praise and acknowledge what she did recently with her husband and two of her kids. Um, they raised a whole lot of money for cancer and um, they shaved their heads, like bald, and that took guts. Um, and I just, I was so proud of them for doing what they did and I was just, wow, congratulations to you. That is gutsy. Praise to you for doing that. I praise your actions. What amazingly brave, awesome thing to do. And yes, go you. <laughs> Somebody else that I would like to recognize as being awesome and doing excellent things is somebody by the name of Lizzie and she is somebody I follow on Instagram. She, like me, loves to thrift. And she lives in Florida. And so thrifting in Florida is so much cooler than thrifting in Ontario, Canada, because she thrifts Disney stuff. And it's the coolest. She has started this company called The Thrifty Duckling. And it's like, look up her website. I will link it below. And what she does is she thrifts these like these articles of clothing, mostly t-shirts and tank tops and things. And she sells them online for really good, really cheap prices. And she's really advocating for being aware of the products that you buy and um, reusing clothes and repurposing things. And I think that she's doing a great job and she's learning and documenting as she goes about making more environmentally friendly choices, even when it comes to like makeup removal products and makeups and just, she's doing excellent work. So go follow her um, on Instagram, The Thrifty Duckling. And like I said, I'll put her site down below. So those are two people that I just wanted to recognize for doing excellent, awesome things. So proud of them. Um, excellent, praiseworthy deeds that they're doing. Third, I wanted to talk very briefly about this book that I read recently. I was downtown a little while ago in my cute little town that we all know I love. And I was in one of my favorite bookshops downtown. It's a consignment bookshop. Surprise, surprise. And it's fun. It's quirky. It's got a bunny. It's like a big fluffy angora bunny jumping around. It's such a cool place. There was a lady bringing in books for consignment and that's all fine and good and well. They couldn't accept one of her books because it had a little bit of water damage. To be fair, they want to give out quality products. I get that. And um, they got talking about the book in question and how much they both loved it. I was kind of, yes, I was eavesdropping. And I was like, 
I was like, which book is this? Because it sounded really interesting. I just kind of like, sorry for hearing your conversation, but it sounded really interesting. We got talking about it and the lady showed it to me and then she just gave it to me, which is just super cool. So thank you. And I'm praising the lady who randomly gave a stranger a book. But I mean, I like big books and I cannot lie. This book is called The Forgotten Garden by Kate Morton. And I had never heard of her. Apparently, she's huge. <laughs> and lots of people love her. Um, this is The Forgotten Garden. And it's beautiful. It's got unexpected twists. Parts made me cry. Parts made me laugh out loud. It's set in the past and in present day and further back in the past. And it's it's cool. It's got like three different perspectives telling the story in three different timeline, timelines, which sounds confusing, but is amazing. And it's like a time, how would you, not time travel, but it's like, it's like a mystery that takes centuries to solve and has like three different people that solve the mystery, four different people. It's such a good book. So it's about a forgotten garden and a family and a little girl who loses her memory and getting adopted and then finding long lost family and so good. I highly recommend it. The Forgotten by Forgotten Garden by Kate Wharton. I just got another one of her books the other day and I have a friend who's going to lend me another one. I haven't started the other book yet, but I am excited to. So book recommendation. I'm praising up this book. I hope this video, I hope I can edit this video down. It's getting a little bit long. We're almost at nine minutes. I guess I have nothing other to say than I will see you tomorrow, hopefully. We're almost there. We're so close. We can do it. We can do it, Karen.